hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel uh, as you know in this channel i am showing you how to print your t-shirts how to create stickers how to do uh, sublimation printing and how to heat press and all that and that how to do branding car branding and everything but i am back again now it's been a while since i've uh, uploaded a video uh, but now I'll be uploading a video on each and every week showing you guys how to do everything that is related to this kind of business. So now today I want to show you how to use Sign Master tools. So this video I'm adding on the video that I've already created. The video name I think it's Sign Master Basics or Sign Master Basics for Beginners. So this is part two of that video. So on this video I just want to show you how to use the tools but mostly the most important tools these tools that i'm going to show you here they actually work with every tool that is here if maybe i click one of these tools then that can maybe link to another tool then i can just do a description of everything but mostly i'll just focusing on the tools so as you know if you open your sign master this is what you appear with so when this appears you just going to need to open a new document this is everything that i've already created but now I just want to open a new document so that I can show you everything from scratch on how to do it. But I'll be focusing on the tools. So you're just going to open a new document. So when you open this, you're going to come up with a very plain document. So this is a A4 document, which is just an easy document to work with. So uh, the tools that I'm going to be focusing on are these tools that you see here. These tools are mostly linked to any tool that you see here. And every time when I click on each on, on each of these tools, that will link me to another tool it's either these ones over here maybe any of these that are here so these tools here will link uh, to any of these tools or of these tools so the first tool that you have here is this tool this is your cursor so this is what you move around like if you click here or maybe this uh, tool is selected you can click any of these tools you can give instruction to any of these tools I can say this is your instructor tool if i can put it like that but there is nothing much to say about it because it's just normally built in computer or something uh, and then the next tool is this tool this is called the node editing tool so this tool you can't use it if there is nothing on the screen if your screen is blank like this you can't use this tool for example if you click it they uh there is nothing that's going to happen so if you want to use the tool that you need to have something on your screen so in order for you to do that you have to come back here on this instruction tool and then you have to import something to your page so when you're importing you know uh i've done this before i'm sure that you already know how to do that but uh people use different way of like uh importing something to sign master so you can either click here on this file or click here on this file you click here and then you say import when you import something on time master you're just going to appear up with this but my pictures are right here so i can use any of these let me take this one and then i just upload it here so this is something that i've created on my own but i can show i can i'll talk about that later just to avoid the video being long i will just go through as quick as i can so i'm going to open up this and then uh so in order for you to use this tool you'll need to have contour lines because this tool works only with contour lines not with pictures like this one so what you need to do is you have to trace this image so you know how to trace on sign master but if you don't know that uh you can comment in the comment section and tell me ask for assistance i'll refer you to one of my old videos or either i'm going to assist you and tell you how to do it so i'll just do a brief like uh description because, because i've already done this on my first video on the part one of this video so when you want to like get your control lines you're just gonna click on this apple here and then you're gonna click here where it says create cut control and then you're just going to say yes yeah and then you're going to trust the image so if maybe you want to trace your image to like to get like super control lines or something like that you can let me know then i'm going to assist you with that. 
so let's trace the image and then we have our control lines and then we just say apply and when we accept so now here are our control lines we do have them here i'm just gonna take the image aside we're going to look at it a little bit later so here are my control lines i'm just gonna zoom it in so that you can see what i'm trying to to show you so now we're going back to our tool that i want to that that i want to explain to you on how does it work so you just click on the tool and then you click on the on the just on the on the contour lines you can see, already see here that it have already created points for you so these points are the points that you can drag like um reshape them to something else like for example if you click on this one it's gonna for example if you click on this one it's going to drag it up there um and then like the points are different as you can see this one is a little bit rounder except also that one this one is a square this one is smaller and that one is also smaller meaning that they can do smaller uh changes the square one they can just uh you can see the changes that are different um this one can do a very large change and then there was one here that it can just do a very small change something like can just make like line like extend the line or something but uh, after you if maybe you are a very creative person you can create something very nice here you can um, build something you can create whatever that you want to create and then it will become very nice and then you can put it on your t-shirt or your customer t-shirt so uh, that's what the tool does actually it just like um, reshape what you have or what you've already created and then we going to our next um sorry if maybe you feel like i haven't explained enough about this tool you can uh leave a comment on the comment section then i can explain even much more better uh maybe privately or you can contact me send an email or anything uh so now we're going back to our next to our next tool so in order for you to click your next tool we have to first click here and then come click here so this is where this is one of the most important ones uh without this tool you can't do uh you can't do text here unless maybe you just import text that you've downloaded somewhere or maybe created somewhere so uh, what i'm going to do i'm just going to write my name that's i'm just going to write my name or type my name uh so that i can show you how does this all work so i'm just gonna say okay and then what now so after you wrote your name or word uh, whichever word that you want to that you want to edit or want to print on something you have to highlight it because what this tool provides is already done you've made text already but now you want to create something after of like you want you want to edit the text now itself so if you highlight it you're going to come here you find your all your fonts here uh, so you can click whichever font that you like to use uh, let me click this one and then uh, you can resize it here this is just the same thing you shrink it and you make it a little bit bigger you bold it here you make it italic here and then this is alignment you see that you send a line but if maybe this was just like a paragraph or two lines one below another then you are going to see how does this all work this is just alignment i'm sure if maybe you've ever worked with microsoft word then you're going to know what does this does this is more like microsoft word actually just that now on sign master so this is what this tool does uh, if you have any question related to this tool you can actually send me a private email or anything so uh now we're going back to our next tool so we're going back to this tool these are shapes so because you can see that there are three shapes here it's a square it's a circle and it's an arrow i think these are the important these are the important tools i guess so that are being provided by, provided by sign master so that you can be able to do or create anything that you want to create here on the platform so uh the first one i'm going to start with let me start with a square because it's the first one on our row so you just create a square and then that's done that's how to use uh, you just create a square and then there is a circle 
you can use this uh, tool without uh, getting assistance from other tools for example you can see that the squares are black here but if maybe you want uh, you want to give them color you can get the color here for example if maybe you click on this tool and then you want to give it a different color you can get any kind of any kind of color that you want here like this can help you a lot uh, that's why i'm saying that if maybe using these tools they always refer to the other tools because like these are the most important tools like those are your basic tools and then these tools are just tools to accommodate what you have on the on the left side so as you can see here i've already created a color so you can design anything that you want to design from here you can maybe just put in these tools together uh give them the same color um, and then you come up with anything that you want to come up with so that you can maybe can that that can be a background of something and then you put your word your name over there and then you've created uh so what's happening now is like that this now is just uh below what i can say the reason why you don't see the name here is because like it's below like below text or something so you can always put it uh um on top or uh like forward yeah that's what i want to say you can always put forward uh by using these tools over here i am going to show you everything here like these tools are there are a lot of tools that you can use but they all hidden somewhere but uh just to avoid making this video very long i can't show you everything now i'm just gonna show you the tools that are the main tools that i've already i'm gonna show you the main tools that i've already started with so just to put this uh my name on top of that i'm just gonna click here on forward uh we take this one we remove it backwards we take that one to the back and then now you see they they my name appears uh if maybe you need assistance with this you can just uh comment in the comment section uh this tool um is very nice but anything that you want to do with the shapes is all here and then you go we're going to our next tool uh these 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 tools is more like um these are clip arts and then the basic shapes so here are the shapes everything is here now you have your rhombus you have your pentagon and all that and that i'm not very good at shapes and then you have everything that has to do with directions arrows and all that and that and that if you maybe want to create a sticker for a road sign or anything you can get them here you can give them a color you can do anything but you can do anything related to that or maybe you want to create a sticker for your car uh, all those kind of things they all here so i'm uh, not going to use them now but you can use them you can see that here is it. but this can't just work on its own you have to get condo lines for this as you can know as you know that if maybe you want to use your vinyl cutter you have to get condo lines but if maybe you want to just use your your sublimation there's no need for condo lines so let's just go back to our tool here so these are clip arts so there are a lot of variety of clip arts that you can choose from here you can choose any of these there are road signs there is just everything these are all built in when you get sign master they just already there um you can click anything i'm just lost i don't know what to click here now um let's take something different from what is already on the screen now uh let's take just uh let's take take this living person over here and then we take it and then you can drag it there so that's what you can get from the clip arts or maybe that tool and then you're going to our next tool so this tool here this is just the zoom tool if you click here and then you click on the screen the screen will just go just become more close to you as you can see 
this is just a zoom tool there is nothing else that you can do with this tool except just zooming in and out and then our next tool is a pencil so as you can see here but this one also sometimes you'll need to have contour lines to use it or you can just create contour lines using the pen or the pencil we're gonna start with this one so it's more like you're creating contour lines they've already there or maybe you can create a, sh a shape of your choice anything as you can see you click here there is a line already another line another line you just need to be very accurate here so you've created something you can see that it's similar to what we have here but now you've created it yourself maybe there are no ways that you can um you can see here i'm trying to draw a car so you can actually be more accurate than me i'm not you can even zoom this a little bit closer so that you can see actually what you are doing but i'm not going to be um 100 accurate here now because um i don't want to waste too much time on this video but i just want you to see on how to use it, how to use this tool that we have here this is one of the most important tools if you know how to use it and then you'll be you'll be able to create anything that you want to create like uh, as you can see okay you have to put it up there but i'm just or just doing it so the next tool on the row is this one so this one is also similar to what we have there but uh, this one now you can uh, do anything you can draw whatever that you want to do but in all all for this for you to print you have to like uh, make in you have to start to trace it so that there will be a contour line so if you have any questions regarding this tool guys you can just uh leave a message in the comment section below i might not be able maybe to explain on how it does now but you can see what i'm doing with it and then you also have this one uh it's just similar to that one but this one now it's uh these tools are similar to each other but now the only difference with this one is that um you draw like this like it's just uh give you direction on whatever that you want to do so if we move to the last one these are not my favorite tool guys to be honest if you look if we let's go to the last one give me that tool yes so this one will just like direct you as you can see that it already shows me that i want to create a square you have i have to click here and then I have to go click there and that I've already created my screen now if I click here it's going to give me another direction okay you can click here so that just to make your your drawing accurate okay and then that's it you can do anything guys but uh, as long as you know like what you actually doing and then that was it with the pen it's not my favorite tool but it's an important tool so we are here now this is one of the most important tools uh, i just want to show you how exactly does this tool work this tool is uh a more focus on reshaping what you've already have this tool works works mostly hand in hand with your text so if you want to use this tool uh, you'll have to have text or whatever that you have but that needs to be on a contour line like what we have here so this one these are not just settings so i'm not gonna go through everything that is here these are just settings the most important one is this one all three of these all three of these so we'll go back to my name here we're going to give my name a different so we are back to my name 
so we're going to give my name a different um, a different sorry but so a different font that's what I want to say so we'll give my name a different font here so we'll go choose here um, I want I just need a little bit bolder font let's take this one so we'll give my name a font uh, a little bit um, bolder font and then I'm also going to make it a little bit bigger so now what you need is to just uh, trace my name and make sure that you keep the hole so that my O can be visible enough so here we have it we have my name here and then as we have my name here what I want to what I want to do now I want to create something that will be like uh, um, for example bending I want to bend my name to a certain shape so I'll be using one of these tools to do that this is the first one which I just described as one of the most important so let's zoom this in so I just want to make it a little bit bendy on the below side so that the upper side can be a little bit look like a bump so I'll drop my corner here you can already see that it shows me where to put another corner so that it, the whole thing can look accurate I'm gonna drop it up until the so as you can see now uh, it's more like uh, the middle part of my name is a little bit far and then the outer parts both from the beginning and the end a little bit closer to me but the only thing that you can't do with this tool the only thing that you can't do with this tool is to create a point somewhere wherever that you want to create it because you can't create a point here so the thing is now I'll have to look at my at my lines that are here because these are, are the lines that are going to assist me so that my all the all the everything that I want to do can be accurate so if I wanted to bend I have to take this point here to here and then my next point also over here so as you can see that uh, I've already created this this you can put maybe at the back of your t-shirt in the middle of your, of your t-shirt at the back just uh, uh, so that it can look like maybe a basketball t-shirt or whatever that you want to do like football t-shirt or anything so this is how to use this this um, this tool so if maybe we go back and reselect it so we selected it now so the next one is this one so this one is more like trying to create 3d similar to what i've already shown you from the first one but this one now it will make it look like that see i'm not really a fan of this one but if maybe you like it that's what it's going to do like looks like now something like oreo yeah that's what it does and then the last one there it goes now something else also looks nice you can use it uh, and then now we are back here on this one so this tool can work on its own so in order for you to use this tool here you have to click on order for you to use this tool you have to click on something whatever that you click it this tool is more like a combiner it will combine whatever that you click so uh as you can see here they say uh they describe it as a shaping and welding tool for example these you see these uh shapes here are separated i can freely move these shapes around but if uh i want to hold them together i'll use this tool but this tool with using this tool i have to click and hold shift And click on another shape hold shift click on another shape and then now I've highlighted everything and then I'll click on this tool and then I say I'll weld when I've welded them they all together now this is the tool that will help you like mix up everything 
as you can see here but the uh, thing is when they've already mixed like this you can't uncombine them you can't unweld them unless you use this tool over here this is called the back paste i mean the undo tool for example there is here where it says weld combine and break apart but you can't break this apart even if how many times you click on it we just need to come here and be like and do everything that you've done so you can see now you pick here they are unwolded so again we want to see how does this one work over here so you're gonna go back to your shift click a shape click another shape and then you come back here and then you say come come back here and then you say combine so when this happens you combine them but there is this like that the way the tool and um, where the shapes meet there will be a, a blank uh, a, a blank space um let's see how does it going to be when uh here on the trying to make the control lines of it you can see that it also still leaves the play the space over there but if you have any creative idea on how to use it you can use it and then it can maybe look very nicer so this is what the tools does and then the last tool is a uh, break apart so this is where the break apart tool work now uh it only works on when you combine the tools when you will the tools you can't break them apart again you have to undo so you break apart and then they broken apart again so that's what the tool actually does and then this one is just a ruler for example you want to put everything in the middle here put this ruler here and then you go back here and then you just center everything to this line that you created so now everything is just on the same straight line you can delete the line if you want to at the end because you're not going to as long as um, as long as everything that you wanted to create is on the straight line that's the ruler you want to create everything on a straight line that's going to assist you so that's it guys that's all the tools that you can use on sign master so this is just a part two of the basic version of sign master you can do everything that i've done here you can print them on your t-shirt if you have any questions you can put them on the comment section below then i can assist you with that Thank you very much for watching so guys now i'll be dropping a video on each and every week trying to show you how everything is done on sign master there are a couple of things that i still want to show you that maybe you might not know or anything anything that you want to uh, that you would ask me and you can ask so i really appreciate your time thank you very much for watching this video up until the end please subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell so that you can get a message every time I post a new or maybe I upload a new video. Bye.